Hi folks, how you doing? I know we don't usually do shows on the weeknights, but the need arose for me to make something um, because I had some ingredients on hand and I didn't get to them on the weekends. And being a shellfish, I gotta get to it tonight. So we're having shrimp bisque soup tonight. Um, simple ingredients, just a little bit of technique and you can make a fabulous shrimp bisque. This is gonna be a little chunky shrimp bisque. So it's not going to be a smooth, smooth pureed bisque. It's going to have a little texture to it. A little bit almost more like on the chowdery side. Um, but it's going to be delicious. Uh, it's going to come together relatively quick. So get, let's get to it. First off, I bought, because they were on incredible sale, two pounds of Shell-On V-Bings shrimp. These are the medium count. These are like uh, 30 to per. Please, if you can ever see and find shrimp in your market with the heads on and with the, with the, uh, the skin on, buy them. Do not get them for sheer convenience, the ones that are already pre-shelled. Because these shells and those heads have so much flavor in them. I wish I found the ones with the heads because that would make this even better. What we're going to do is we're going to just grab these. They're already cut and deveined. So we're just going to grab them from the back, pull them all the way to the front, just like this, and take out everything. See, the whole entire shell, including the tail, and just leave the meat, okay? We're going to chuck the meat in a container, and we're going to reserve the shells. I'm going to grab a little plate. We're going to reserve the shells over here. And that's what is going to be the base of our soup. So I'm going to get to peeling the rest of these shrimp and we'll be back. Okay, we're back. I peeled off about a pound and a quarter of the shrimp. So they're all peeled and done. Here are all the, uh, the shells from the said shrimp. And then we've got our vegetable mix that we're going to put in to the pot as soon as it gets hot enough. Um, we've got a little butter. And we've got some olive oil. Okay, the pan's smoking nice. So I'll lower the heat down a little bit. Hit it with about a tablespoon of olive oil. And the first thing, just move that olive oil around. First thing that goes in is our shrimp shells. And we're going to let them go, and I'm going to mix them around. I want them nice and brown and caramelized, and then I'm going to start throwing in the, the vegetables and the butter and a little bit of salt and pepper. So that's where we're going to start with this. So right now I'm going to hit this with a little salt, fresh cracked black pepper. Now, what are we going to do? Now, all of these vegetables that we're going to put in at this point are just there for flavor. They're not there to consume. So, in, in the original recipe that I had for this, these were all to be strained out later on. I don't think so, because that's a waste of some great vegetables. So, we're, I'm going to mince them up a little bit so that they can be eaten later on. We're going to smooth out some, but not quite all. I got a spoon. <clears throat> I want you to see these. I want you to see these skins, these shells, so you can see what I'm talking about. See how they're getting all red and pink and caramelized. I wish you could smell it. It smells phenomenal already. And all we've got is the shrimp shells. <laughs> so that'll tell you about this soup. We don't want to burn. Nothing burnt. Burnt does not taste good. Caramelized, yes, burnt, no. Okay, so they're good. <coughs> they're going good. I'm going to throw in the garlic. 
crushing it up, taking the paper off, and just like breaking it into twos. Just like that. And it goes. That's the part that's going to get strained out later, so don't worry about it. You're not going to get a mouthful of garlic. Same thing with these onions. We're going to cut them down. We're probably going to strain them out and then we'll keep some and dice them up later. But right now we just need flavor. In they go. We've got some um, baby portobello mushrooms. We'll slice them up. Those are probably going to stay. So we're going to cut them nice and thin like this. They're going to caramelize also, and they're going to be beautiful. Oh, my own amiga. The smells are happening here. Two carrots. Just cut them with big chunks. Again, we may keep them, we may not. About three ribs of celery. Same thing. We may keep them. We may not. We're going to put in some butter. Just a touch for right now because that's butter's going to come in later in the game. So I just want a little butter over right here. I'm going to mix that around a little bit. Most of the recipes you'll see for this do not call for this step. They want you to throw this stuff all right in a bucket of water and let the shrimp shells make your stock. I find by doing this we get a lot more flavor out of everything and we wind up with a bisque that is just simply divine. Okay, so our butter is melted, our vegetables are doing great. We're going to grab about a half a cup of white wine. Any white wine, this is a Chardonnay, anything that you would drink. Not that stuff you wouldn't drink, that's cooked wine. That's going to be glazed our pan. And to that, Oh my goodness, what could be better? Garlic, shrimp, wine, oh. We're going to add about three cups of water. Turn that fire back up. We're going to bring that up to a boil and then turn it down to a simmer and let it simmer for about 30, 30 to 40 minutes depending on how fast it reduces. We want it to do, reduce at least by half so we want to wind up with like a cup and a half for this. I'm not making 10 servings here, I'm making like three servings. So we want about a cup and a half of that stock, maybe two cups tops because we're going to add milk and cream and uh, half and half later on. So let me clean up. Let's let that come to a boil and then reduce and be simmered. And I'll catch you back in a little while. I kind of forgot a step, so we're going to go back to it. While our stock is coming to a simmer and coming to a boil, and that's going to happen, we're going to prep our shrimp for later. So we've got our pound, pound and a half of shrimp here. I'm going to cut them into pieces maybe two, three pieces a piece for the size they are. Yeah, three. 
throw them back into here, and then we're going to season them. So let me cut these all up just like this, three pieces for these. These aren't huge shrimp. I just want a nice bite of shrimp in there. I'm going to continue to cut these all up, uh, and we'll be back in a second. Hey, this isn't Benny Hanna or Ari Rance here. None of the knife whipping and all that nonsense. Just good, clean fun. <laughs> Okay, our shrimp is all cut up. I'm going to wash my hands off a little bit. Now, we're going to hit our shrimp. Our, <coughs> our stock came to a boil, so we're going to cook this with a tablespoon of oil. We're going to stir that around. This is real simple. We want nice clean flavors. I want, I want the shrimp to come through. We don't want it to be masked by anything else. We're going to hit it with some fresh cracked black pepper. And we're going to hit it with a little kosher salt. That's it, my friends. That's all that goes into there. If you want to put a little paprika, chili, spice, whatever, you can go ahead and you can start flavoring the heck out of this. But I want it nice and clean. I want to taste all my lovely shrimp that I paid a very good price for. And that's what we're after. So our stock is reducing. Our shrimp is going to marinate here with, their, with the olive oil, salt and pepper. And uh, when the stock is ready, We'll be back. It's very important as our stock is being made that you take a little spoon and you pull up some of the stock and you taste it for seasoning so that you know whether or not you have to adjust the seasoning as you're going along. Oh my goodness. Right now it's delicious. It's got all the herbs, it's got the, all the vegetables, it's got that beautiful shrimp flavor, and it's got just enough salt and just enough pepper. We'll be back in a minute. I'm going to let this keep going down. Okay, our stock has reduced by about half. I'm going to take it and strain it. Now, like I said before, some of these vegetables I'm going to pick out because uh, <laughs> vegetables are expensive. Besides, I want the flavor. I'm kind of just kidding, but I do want the flavor. I do want to use them. We're going to set them aside. I'm going to take out what I need, get it ready, and then we're going to start the second portion of this soup. Uh, we'll be right back. Okay, our vegetables have been pulled, cleaned, diced, and they're ready here. Our, our shrimp stock is here, our shrimp is here. We're going to first take a little bit of olive oil, just a touch. And like two tablespoons of butter. And we're going to put that in the pan. Now, like with any other clean soup, there's got to be a roux. So in this case, our roux is going to be a little bit of flour. We're going to take our vegetables, 
put them in the pan with the with the butter and the oil. Let them start getting their flavors back. Or actually building a second layer of flavor. After about a minute or two, some other kind of fish. Like one night I made this, I, I had an extra piece of tilapia. I cut that up into little cubes and threw that in here. It was phenomenal. It added another texture. Okay, I'm just mixing it up a little bit. And now here's the big trick with shrimp. Walk away. Leave it alone. Let's sit. Don't flip it. Don't turn it. Don't mash it. I want it to turn colors. Once they turn colors and I see colors start coming around the edge, then I'm going to flip it a little bit because you don't want to overcook your shrimp. So I would almost say we're just about there because these have about three to five minutes and that's what it's going to take for the soft, the, the soup to develop, the cream part of the soup. So we don't want to overcook these, we want to cook them in the soup, let the soup cook the shrimp. So at this point, I'm going to take and put in two tablespoons of flour, regular old flour. And we're going to mix that around just until you don't see the flour anymore. flour is immediately starting to stick to the bottom. You want to scrape that up. First thing we're going to hit that with is a little bit of our stock. Just to deglaze the bottom of that pan. So yeah, that's going to help you scrape up that flour that was sticking to the bottom. Just like that. I told you, this is going to be a hearty bisque. It's not going to be uh, one of those smooth type bisques all the way. Oh, it's looking beautiful already. We're going to put in some more stock. Because I can see that other part of the stock already thickening up. The thing with the roux is until you bring whatever you're making your roux out of, to a boil, you will never know how thick it is. So already our shrimp, shrimp are about halfway cooked. So I've got another couple of minutes before they're cooked all the way through. So we've got to make this quick. I'm going to put in like, like a half a cup of whole milk and like a half a cup of half and half. If you wanted to, you could throw in whipping cream too. heat a bit. You can't go anywhere now. The pin has been pulled. Every minute or so just give it a stir around. 
We're going to wait till this thickens up a little bit. Then we're going to plate it up. You're going to see. Beautiful. We'll be right back. There's our beautiful chunky shrimp bisque soup. If you wanted to <clears throat> and make this a true, true bisque bisque, you could uh, hit this with an immersion blender and blend up all this goodness until it becomes part of the soup. I like it more like a chowder, like I said in the beginning of the video. So let's taste it a little, I got a little chives on top. The shrimp are cooked perfectly. It just melts in your mouth, it's not rubbery or anything. The soup is delicious. Packed with that shrimp flavor. Got that nice hint from all the herbs and the seasonings. It's very warm and comforting. The butter adds a silkiness to it as it, you know, it gives you a great mouthfeel. Absolutely luxurious. You will never know that you made this in under an hour on a weeknight. So here it is, shrimp bisque. Enjoy it. I hope you learned something. Come back. We'll see you then.